I asked the man that same motherfucking question. Because I used to fuck with this dude, right? And every time I turned around, he was like, I want to bring another woman, another woman into whatever we do. Like, first of all, I'm strictly dick. I don't do pussy because I got a lot of my own. What can a woman do for me because I want a man? It's my question, my opinion. He's like, well, she may satisfy you in ways that I can't. He threw up the little white flag and surrender her. I mean, I'm just saying, dude, you working with a lot, but at the end of the day, you want somebody, a woman to take me away from you? That, that's what's going on with these motherfuckers that day right now. They bringing too many women into their bedroom and they taking their women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They not going to take, they just going to share. If it's a lesbian, she's just going to share. That's Let me tell you something. You better know. I, I hear this shit on Steve Harvey every motherfucking morning. <laughs> about these women that invited another woman in their room yeah. and now the woman is gone to the so woman and the man don't even know. Right, right. Well, that's what they wanted, but then they wanted to be consensual amongst them three and they be together, but you not, they you found a disclaimer. Real, you know? You're not with her unless we're all together. And somehow, and sometimes, the woman is with the other woman and this man don't even know. I've seen it. So you ain't never been wanting to be gay on the weekend or nothing? I ain't never want to be gay, period, because I, I like to be plunged. Come on. Right. <laughs> hey, what it really is, you like to feel that strong. I like to feel nothing but strong, so hard dick. You got dick with me, you got to go. Get the fuck out. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, because you know what? I mean, I'm just saying. As the world keep turning and people start turning gay and the men become extinct, the last thing left is us. We're going to be the last thing, you know, smoking. Well, y'all better have plenty of batteries for me. Because motherfucker Energizer ain't going to work for you. Invent your own shit. I don't know why y'all No, no, you were. You were. Right. Now, yeah, I'm going to quit fucking with the, with, the, with the 25 and under. The, the 30 and under. Because they seem to not know what they want. Why do you say they don't know what they want? They don't know they want the younger the uh, 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 older and younger brick. Younger. They don't know they want younger, old, dicker, pussy, young, old, and the rest. They don't know nothing. But I like young, man. The young, the old, and the rest. Of it. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with these old motherfuckers that got benefits. So does the age gap matter? Like, is there a certain age gap that someone has to be for you to be dating them or whatever? Like, absolutely. You gonna date younger or higher I'm lower? I'm going younger. I'm going younger. You something young me? Yeah. I'm going younger. Baby, they don't want to do nothing but smoke weed and play video games. So I, I, I train. That's okay. I can get tip drill. That's all right. I can get tip drill. That's all that matters. Now, what's the question? What's the age difference? The age gap that you would prefer. Are you going, going down? What's the age gap you going down? What age gap do you prefer? Age gap. What do you prefer? Me? Yeah. I ain't going to pass five years. Look what the fuck is Five years of what? 20? Younger. Five, oh, five years under you. Yeah, that's crazy fuck. So, can I ask how old you are? How old am I? I'll be 48 in November. Okay. So you want 40, 42, 41? I don't even say I, I went to 38, but that shit's crazy as fuck. Well. You said that shit crazy as fuck. Well. <laughs> let, let, let me just tell you a secret that I found out. That shit's crazy. Let me tell you something I just found out about two weeks ago. What? Baby, you can be 30, 40, 50. If the female got good pussy, all of these gonna be crazy. Come on, That's all I'm saying. That's crazy. I'm, I'm just telling the truth. Yeah, good pussy could drive you crazy. Yeah, yeah, it, it could. But you know how much pussy in the world though? It's split. A G ain't gonna even worry about that. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You know how many you been, you know how many diseases in the world too? <laughs> they ain't out there like that. Well, you got a big point right there. Yeah, that, that, that STD will stop you real quick in your tracks. I bet it will. I bet it will. So you got to be skeptical on the coochie. That's why I've been single for five years. Make sure years. she's using Euro. <laughs> Euro. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm finna quit. Is anybody getting married anymore these days? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> she said, what's that? She said, what? Hold on, you sitting holding that with a nigga and you hollering, what's that? He should have punched you in the left titty for that. You never know. We're just starting here. Oh, 
y'all just like, like Lord, y'all well, hell, if he even thought about it for the future, it was an exception already. Can I ask y'all a question? Are y'all dating or y'all courting? Courting. Okay, what's the difference with dating and courting? Courting means fucking. That means they ain't fucking. That means y'all ain't fucking. She don't know what it was. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I don't know whatever you said. That's why I came back with the question. That means y'all ain't fucking. You don't know how many raised them up. No, no, no. no. That's why I asked because, see, you said courting and dating. Said, it means up. we're not fucking. That's all you had to end the question for me. I was good with that answer. Not fucking. We ain't got there yet. Okay, okay. You heard the head on there, baby. I heard. <laughs> you heard the head on there, baby. <laughs> but you know, it looks like they working it out. They not be fucking after the night. Yeah, you don't know. Is there a big age? Is there a big age gap between y'all? Hey, secret, sir. Secret. <laughs> Listen, excuse me, excuse me, Mister. If you give her some XXL, I swear she gonna be swinging from the ceiling. Give her some of that 1872. You know that 1872 made the panties bright, everything come out. And that, you see, she's she already a hoe. She was freaking mad at that hoe. She was born in 72, and she gonna drink some 72. Oh, uh, hey. My, my thought to you, son, get some 72. And make her take them. Keep it on day. She forgot everything she did. Right. The liquor store don't close to the left. <laughs> okay, I ain't mad at him. But you know, he trying to get drink. them draw. He trying hey, to see what the coochie feeling like. Well, he continued this at uh, fourteen. It's fourteen. It's fourteen. <laughs> you know what, y'all? Hey, you petty as fuck. <laughs> She's sitting over there singing, but she's trying to help this nigga out. I'm trying to help get the coochie. You trying to help get me away from the coochie. Which part is We got to be on one team now. I know everybody's time. That's all good. That's all right. Well, I'm, I'm glad to see y'all. Just take it slow. Don't rush it past. Please don't rush. Don't rush. <laughs> as soon as you fuck, it's why you take me back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I know you're fucking your dick good. I know you're going to break. And you ain't taking me back. Just gonna start we, back. We're nothing, <laughs> sir. <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> why you answer phone last night? I fell asleep. Hey. Oh, we did. I swear to God, I'm sending out them. What, what you doing? I ain't doing nothing, but let's go hang out. Uh-uh. Sleep. Some people do like it. I had loud that my dog was being dumb. And I found out he was there. Yeah. Girl, you should have took advantage of that, baby. That's your win, your meal ticket. Because if he going to put flowers at your door, you know he married. Let me juice that nigga. In fact, give me his number. <laughs> That's what you do. Give me, give me his number. There we go. I can use that too. You need to charge it to the game, baby. But don't, don't be a felonist now. Don't no. be a step over 500 with his motherfucking credit card number and you go to jail. You 499. Right. Yeah, so they got 499. 499. <laughs> but at the end of the day, tell him, give me his number. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'm single. I don't, I don't, I don't hold nothing up there. Wow. Mm. Have you ever cheated on somebody? All of them. Yeah. <laughs> I cheated on them. Okay, so let me find my disclaimer. I cheated on them when they cheated on me. Here, yeah. So I'm going to get you back. I'm not. You motherfucker, right? Pay back and some motherfucker. My grandmama said it to them. My grandma said, you know, everybody in here listen to their goddamn grandma. But grandma done been through some shit. So you ain't, whatever grandmama tell you, you going to do it in your little sneaky way. Like me, of course. My grandmama told me he cheat on you, she. Cheat on him, he ain't gonna know. Who gonna tell him? You You ain't gonna tell on your goddamn self. Cause baby, as long as he think you cheat, then you ain't cheating. That way he gonna get him with a good Lord split. Mm. I listen to everything my grandmama said. It's hard when a rabbit got It's hard when it switched over. It is. You better know it. Hey, you win some and you lose some. You fuck with me, you a loser. <laughs> because bitch, I'm winning. Hey, 
<laughs> you be trying to get the coochie and I I make it loose for a reason. Hey. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. You better know it. Okay. So I be like that girl on that one TikTok video. I slept with him. But why did you sleep with him? Because he had a big dick and I and then I had to think about it, his dick was bigger than yours. Oh, then that when the dude was like, why you do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what it is. So I'm not a cheater until you cheat. So if you don't want to be cheated on, don't be a cheater. That's my scenario. Hey, you got to grow up. Hey, first of all, I'm faithful to the end. When you find when I find out you cheat, I win. You hear me? When I find out you cheat, I win. I win. I win. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? It hit the nail on the head. Yeah, it hit the nail on the head. Yeah, what you fail to realize is these women can do way better than what you can. I ain't gonna hold you. So before I got married, of course, you know, I did the daddy what I did. But when I got married. It was different because I'm like, oh, what if somebody fucked my wife? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, damn, I was about to think about shit I did. What if somebody come and I pulled up with somebody fucking my wife? It's just like, oh my God, it was just, I was thinking karma, but luckily I didn't get cheated on. But I am divorced, so. Happily divorced. This is my divorce party. Thank y'all for coming to my divorce party. What the fuck? You know what? I've been divorced for five years. Yeah. It's a party. What you mean? Every time we get together. Oh, Lord. I thought you just got I'm married a, last week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm a comedian. And, I, <laughs> and so I was in Las Vegas. And I pretended like I got married to this girl at the airport. And everybody was so happy for me. And it just fucked me up because both our hands look alike. She looked like she worked on cars, too. I mean, God damn. Like, but really, she said, like, who hand is that? And then I'm like, why does she got on a leather jacket this summer? You know what I'm saying? It was This just happened last week. Okay. And I'm thinking this bitch just got And I had to let them know as a prank, but everybody thought it was real. That shit was fucked up. That's messed up. Y'all would let me go out like that. You know what? Well, we got let you do nothing, bitch. You went to Vegas. That means you wanted to be a secret. You wanted to surprise the world, and damn it, you did. You surprised I me. I didn't, didn't even, even, even tell me that you ain't even married now. We even had a little video. You can see us. We did our hands like this together. Sizzle. Yeah. Like, they, they got matching tattoos and shit. What, what y'all get some shit right on, written on y'all hands? No, it was a ring. She oh. put a ring on my finger. <laughs> y'all play too much. I'm like, where together? Y'all play too much. That shit was so damn funny. Y'all play too much. I swear y'all play too much. I swear y'all play too much. Let's do so what else we got new? What's going what's going on, Starwood? Hey y'all. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Don't get too loud. <laughs> hey, this is the podcast. This is called Sipping and Tripping. Welcome. Welcome in. Welcome in. Sipping and tripping. How y'all doing? That's what's up. Is the food is the food good here, y'all? Man, yeah. is it? Yeah. Don't say it just how they record us. Is it? Yeah. Now, fuck they recording this shit. <laughs> man, what? Yeah, man, what? 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 You say Baby, and the, and the yeah. media right yeah. pizza? Don't, don't get me started on that. Damn. What kind of what? Media right pizza? You may not like that. You may not like that. I put too much on me right now. This is my first time. You may not like the media right. What's up, man? It's all me. I never don't want to all me. You may not like that. I'm just saying. It works for me. My first car was a stick ship. I read that motherfucker. I don't like this. You know? But yeah, the food is terrific. Shout out to Starwood Pizza. Thank y'all for having us in here. Thank y'all for having us in here tonight doing sipping and tripping. So what's going on? What else is happening? What you what else you got for us, kid? Oh shit. Uh let's see here. Um, would you get rid of social media to save your relationship? Yep. Yeah. Somebody say yeah. I will, I will. I will. I will. It, and it depends on what I have going on. Yeah. So like if I'm doing like this podcast or I'm being a comedian or I'm trying to throw people out there, you know, on their business or whatever, no. But if it's, I, I won't post nothing that's going to damage my situation at home. I agree. So would you post your uh, spouse on, on social media stuff and all that? Yeah, I will. 
I'm proud of who the fuck I got. You okay with me to go down that hard <laughs> Okay, so hard let me file this other disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we got a Before you fuck me up. <laughs> First of all, I'm single. Let's just start there. So I have nobody to file. Okay. So now, but if I had somebody, yes, I would put him on my profile and I would blast him every day. Not every day. No, no. Well, not every day. <laughs> every, every six months when we do something. And it's yeah, very special. I wasn't very mature enough to do all Well, he do special shit. So when she made me mad, I started deleting her pictures out there. Oh, yeah, nah, bitch, you getting off my social media. <laughs> I don't want to see you on here. Don't hold that shit. <laughs> well, but now, I, I don't even foul him when he make me mad. Damn. Well, I mean, I'm never going to, like, okay, I'm single now. The next relationship I be in, I'm not even going to put it on social media. In fact, she not even going to know we together. I mean, no. this shit going to be so top secret, like, for real. I don't know. But why? Because too many influences out there in the world. Well, you, you are a, um, you are a change proud a change figure person. of the world. Like, you're in comedy, so it's a lot of things that you have to put out there to, to be you. So why would you hide that because of the simple fact that you're you. You're, you're, doing, you're doing big things, like literally big things. And I commend you for that. Congratulations on everything that you're doing. I love it to the fullest because I'm, I'm always on there. Picking you up like, yeah, girl, you got it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? So you, I don't think that you should do that. Now, if if this person is offended by the way the crowd reacts to you because you're that person, then they have a problem. It's not you. That's a them problem. You know what I'm saying? Because you are, you are a true figure of trying to be out there in the world doing comedy. You're not out there like the biggest play of the year or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Well see, some of the like some of the uh endeavors that endeavors that I do, it do require like sexual art. So it definitely wouldn't be able to be uh, my part of it nothing like that. But again, you're a comedian. So you you have to let them So be, when I did when I did have social media, that's what ruined my relationship. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, no so cheating. that means that person no was cheating. insecure. No, no, was no, cheating. Cheating. no, I'm just saying, they're insecure themselves because like, if, if I'm a comedian, if, if I'm as, I'm not as popular as you, but if I was as popular as you, the person that I'm with would have to understand, this is my job. This is what I do. So I sometimes I have to put things out there to explain my career. You understand what I'm saying? So once you're explaining your career, shit, they reaping the benefits, they shouldn't even be paid. Well, when I did first start out, I was going through a divorce. That's when I started doing comedy. So you know, I would definitely talk about it. Yeah, I know, I know you probably dogged it. No, I didn't dog it. Well, not dogged the dog, the but dogged the situation that you that you took upon, which 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 made you made the jokes that you had. You understand what I'm saying? So you know, it, it takes an experience to do the things that we do as we So, and you damn good at it now. I appreciate it. I don't know how the relationship or I work, or you know, hey, I'm strictly deeply. Strictly Yeah, you strictly clickly. Yeah, I like that. Y'all heard it from <laughs> Yeah, so with that being said, you know, hey, it's all good. A person that get with you, they gonna have to understand your mentality. They're going to have to understand you as a person. They're going to have to be able to let the good outweigh the bad. Because they need to focus on you as a person and not your career. Because your career is what's making you be the person that you are to, to be able to maintain them. Your old experiences bring out the new you. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is. If they can't handle you, then <laughs> you might have to start back Fucking peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sell socks to him. I'm gonna go out there. You gonna start using sales? I'm gonna sell socks to him. You gonna start using sales? Yeah, go. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I had to give it with that. 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 I had to give
gonna pay some bills. We're gonna come back and we'll get started on the next segment, okay, y'all? All right, y'all. Thank y'all for attending, sipping and, and tripping. tripping.